Next up, we have uh, one of seven by sevens, comedians to watch. And after tonight, you'll be able to say you have. Please welcome Caitlin Gill. Yeah! Hey, everybody. That beautiful sound. That is the sound of the single lady. Woo! That is our noise. It's a beautiful chord, really. Woo! It's the notes of like, you know, total freedom, ability to make your own decisions, desperate loneliness. Woo! More bad decisions, minor key. Woo! Calling exes. Woo! Are you happy, single ladies? Yeah! See, that's the dirty secret. I'm single by choice. I did this on purpose. This isn't commitment issues. My studio had a lease. I signed it. I'm committed to this for a year and then a month-to-month -month basis thereafter. I'm into it. I love being single. And here's the dirty secret. Everything about being a happy single lady gets better after you turn 30. Yeah! If you are under 30, Leave immediately. <laughs> you do not deserve to hear the secrets, which I will bestow, and you're in terrible danger. I will suck your life force out of your body. I need it. I'm old. <laughs> Everything about being single gets better after you're 30. If you are a happy single lady in your late 20s, your life is just a constant chorus of bad advice from people who don't know what you want. <laughs> Why aren't you married? <laughs> Why don't you have a baby? Why didn't you get married and have a baby? <laughs> you can be my nephew or my cousin. What's wrong with you? Why don't you just get married and then have a baby? <laughs> what are you doing wrong? Why can't you just get married and have a baby? You're my nephew or my cousin. Why don't you want your daddy to do to you? <laughs> Why can't you just get married and have a baby? You don't have to complete yourself. You can just meet another incomplete person like my nephew or my cousin and then you can get married and then you can just make another person. <laughs> You want some knitting needles? <laughs> yes, I do. I'm going to need these forever. And there's no more nephews. There's no more cousins. Just, hey, you want to meet my auntie? <laughs> We're going to have tea. She's going to tell dirty stories about being a cheerleader in the 50s. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to do that. Being a happy single lady is the best. This is the best time to be alive. If you are a happy single lady, you can own stuff and have debt, and do all sorts of things that are dumb. It's terrific. We're free. It's nice. It wasn't like the Anne Marie Slaughter days. That's right, she's the one who told the truth in the Atlantic and said the women can't have it all. And she wasn't lying, ladies, you can have it all. Congratulations to you if you're one of those like 30-something hyper-educated ladies that married some other Ivy League dude and now has this high-powered career and then decided to pop out some belly fruit right in the prime of your hiring potential and then you can pretend you can get back into the workforce and be treated equitably. Yeah, I'm sure that'll happen. Congratulations. Way to climb on top of the glass ceiling and then break it to get back down. Good job, ladies. <laughs> Babies, congratulations to you if you like babies. I'm not a baby, but look, look, I'm living my dream. I want to tell weird jokes to strangers in dark rooms. <laughs> if I had kids, wouldn't you be worried about them right now? Where are they? I don't want a life devoid of relationships that are fulfilling. I don't want to be empty, an empty vessel. I don't want that. Problem solved, got a cat. <laughs> that with a baby? <laughs> you can't just leave a baby next to some kibble and some kind of fresh water. I'm out! <laughs> got shit to do! Good luck, baby! <laughs> Enjoy your abandonment issues! Good luck 
being a stripper or a comedian. <laughs> are really fun. I could do this all night, but I'm not going to do it all night. I'm going to be good. Uh, let's talk about one important thing. Don't worry, I'm not done yet. I'm just thanking you for being great. Uh, I'm a single lady. Maybe this, maybe this is part of why this has been on my mind a lot. I want to talk about a very important issue before I go, something that troubles me a little bit. Uh, how am I still alive? How am I still standing when for one-fourth, a full quarter of my adult life, I'm just bleeding out of an open hole in my body. <laughs> blood. Blood, 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 blood. I just turned on a gore faucet and it's a seven day horror movie. when I meet them, and I shake their hand for the first time. My vagina is bleeding. <laughs> and I bring it up, I bring it up because it is not gross. It's not gross. Look, I don't know why it still happens. Ladies, it's not gross, it's our burden. I don't get it, I don't know why this is still a thing. What up, evolution? <laughs> should be a better way for humans to breed, but we're just stuck with bloody gushy pussies. That's what we got. <laughs> Ladies, it's not gross. It's your burden. Leave that notion behind. Leave his red tent. <laughs> period, when my moon is in its fullest house, <laughs> my mind in its rage and my body in its heat, I will mate vigorously, for that is what nature called for. Gentlemen, you're welcome. <laughs> when finally, Mother Luna and the tides conspire to pull forth my monthly blood, I will flee your urban Babylon, your steel cages are bringing me down. And I will run. I will run for the forest after I find a responsible cat sitter. <laughs> and there, there I will be free. I will run naked, wind in my hair, dirt in my toes. And when I tire, I will seize upon prey and I will tear their flesh asunder. And their blood will flow down my face and body symbolically and literally replacing the blood that I am losing. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much.